Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We got some crazy, crazy stuff for you today. Those seed potatoes that we did in a previous video, they're starting to really scab over. It's time to plant them. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the best strategies for planting seed potatoes in a five gallon container. Let's get to it. Whoop. Okay. So this is what we're looking at. This is our seed potato that we cut up in the previous video and we've got what we were looking for. See this cut zone here? It is a bit thick to the touch. It sort of has a tough leathery feeling to it and that's what we were looking for because if we had put it in the ground as it was freshly cut, a lot of moisture in there, it's an open wound and pathogens, diseases, pests and rot could take place. But now it's got a little bit of a shield and so we're gonna take this and one other seed potato and plant it in our five gallon bucket. So the first thing we need to talk about is planting depth and how a potato will grow in a container like this. So this is just a five gallon jar from Ace Hardware. You can get them at Home Depot, wherever. And what I've done is I've drilled some holes in the bottom because as a root crop, we don't want that potato to rot at all. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill soil up about four inches or so from the bottom. We don't want those seed potatoes resting right on the bottom of the container. And then I'll place my seed potatoes in somewhere around this level and then I will hill them up, which is what you would do if you were planting them out in the normal ground, by placing about four to six inches of soil on top of the seed potatoes. So what's gonna happen there is you're gonna have, seed potatoes are gonna be right about here, then we have our soil that'll be right about here, and this is the zone in which a seed potato and new potatoes will grow. And so the, tuber, the tubers will all be produced here, the growth will come up, out of this zone so it's going to start coming up out of here and then as it comes up out of here I will hill it until we get to about this point maybe about right about there and then we're going to mulch that part over to keep that moisture in as the potato reaches later stages of its life so let's go ahead and mix up some soil get our seed potatoes in here and get on going with the video so for our mixture we're going to use peat moss some perlite, some compost, that's gonna go in first. <clears throat> Add about one third, one third, one third. And then I'm gonna do a couple amendments as well. So I got my compost in. Let's get our peat moss in for some water retention. And we're gonna add a little bit of perlite because again, as a tuber crop or a root crop, we don't want any crazy, crazy water retention in here because that would rot out our tubers, which is what we're growing this plant to eat, right? And so let's talk a little bit about yield. From my research and from my experience, you can get somewhere around four to six pounds of potatoes per five gallon bucket. Of course, that will depend on the variety of the plant that you're growing, but that's been my experience. So that's what we're gonna try to shoot for. And then I'm also gonna throw a little scoop of worm castings in here as well. So this is just some stuff I get <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> from the local nursery. You got some organic worm castings right there. Highly recommend <coughs> wearing a mask if you pour the perlite like I just did because that was not intelligent at all. <coughs> there we go. We'll add a little bit of that in and now we are just going to mix it up. So when we're planting any seed potato, like I said before, we've got our drainage holes in there. We want to cover the bottom with a little bit of soil though, so the roots that are going to end up coming out of that seed potato have somewhere to go, and the potatoes aren't just sitting directly on the bottom. So now that we've done that, it's time to actually select and plant the seed potato. So here we have an all blue variety. You can see it has a bluish tinge to the inside of the plant matter, and we've got three chits there. So this is going to be a really strong choice, might be slightly larger than you may want to plant in a five gallon container, but I think it'll do just fine. And then the other variety we're going to plant in this container is going to be the all red variety, which is a smaller chunk. There's one really strong looking chit on this one. It's also nicely scabbed over and we're going to plant that one in on the left side. So for a five gallon container, you don't want to overflow because remember we're growing a root crop and that root crop actually needs space 
to exist within the soil. We're not growing something that's coming out of the top like a kale or tomatoes or peppers where, I mean, even peppers, it's a shallow root system. You don't even need to plant them that deeply. With potatoes, it's very different. So we're just going to go ahead and use two seed potato chunks here of two different varieties and see how that does. And then I'm just lightly adding on some more soil on top. And this is about five to six inches of extra soil. I'm making sure I don't compress it and pack it down because the last thing we want is for that area around the seed potato to have no air circulation, no airflow. And you know, even though we've done the scabbing over, they still could rot out. And so that's what we want to avoid. I'm just making sure to smooth it out really nicely and top it off. And then once we see those sprouts start to come out at the top, that's gonna to be in the next video, obviously, because that's not gonna happen in the span of this video here. But once we see that happen, then we can start moving on to phase three of growing potatoes in containers. So what's happening here is we have our soil line right here. So no potatoes are planted below this line. This is all soil. So I'll write that right there. And then we have our seed potatoes. We have one right about there and we have one right about there. Then we filled up with soil right about to this mark here. So this is our fill line. And what's gonna happen is these potatoes are gonna start coming out. So they're gonna start throwing out those chits are gonna start actually sending up a shoot, sending up a shoot this way. As Soon as they come out, they're producing some leaves, right? And that's where we start seeing the actual growth. Everything else up to that point has been to here. And so this, so the, this zone here, the zone in between these two points, that is where our potatoes, our actual potatoes are gonna form. So it's gonna throw roots out. There's gonna be throwing roots out down here, down here. And then we'll have potatoes, hopefully, in this area. And then as this keeps going, eventually we'll also hill this up with some more soil. So we'll have a new soil line. And then this will keep going. Eventually it'll start to flower, produce these flowers. And once the flowers are produced, it will basically be ready to harvest. So this, these, the vegetation up here is gonna to start to die back. As soon as we start seeing the plant look unhealthy, kind of dying, what we're gonna see is we're gonna see uh, these really start to be in their prime, our little potatoes down here. They're, these are gonna be ready to actually develop, actually harvest, and that's what I'm really excited for because I'm growing these for potatoes, right, for food. So I wanna see these actually grow. And so that's it for today's video. We have done seed potatoes. So we've taken seed potatoes from their normal state, and you can plant them like this, by the way. Something that's maybe this small you may just want to plant as a full seed potato. The ones that you want to cut up are these larger ones that you want to get more use out of. And so that's why we did the process in the first video, which you can see right there. But uh, what we did in this video is we planted those potatoes. So we allowed a scab to form around the cut areas so that there's no rot issues, no pathogens, no diseases, hopefully. We've mixed our soil, which again is peat moss, compost, some worm casting, some perlite. So more, more or less a classic potting soil mix. And then we planted in our bucket, we planted at the four inch zone right there. We hilled it up about six. And then as it grows out, we're gonna start hilling up to this point and then we'll mulch over in this top zone. And then we're just gonna let these potatoes grow out. We'll let them go through their life cycle. And then hopefully, assuming all things go well, we don't get any rot issues, we don't get any disease issues, we don't have any growth problems, we're gonna get a bunch more of these that we can actually eat. And you know what? I might just do a little potato hash recipe here on the channel as well. So thank you so much. Subscribe if you wanna see more of the potato follow along as well as all the other stuff that's on the channel. You can hit like, you can leave me a comment down below as always. And I'm gonna put the Epic Shades back on and I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.